Hi there. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. So I mentioned that I was going to do a fountain pen video and share some of my... Did I not bring down? I actually have a pencil like this. And I was going to share it too because it's super cute. But, you know, whatever. It's not a fountain pen, so... We'll stick with this. Um, I think this is all of them. I honestly can't remember. It's been a while. So, um, some of these have never even been inked up, used, or otherwise. I guess I could have put them in some sort of order. Um, Okay, maybe something like that. We'll see. Anyway, so I'm going to tell you the ones I have, what I like. I've had other ones I have sold. Um, I have some that are modified. And I'm going to show you how I clean them. I'm not going to clean them, but I'm going to show you how and how I fill them. Um, so we'll start off and kind of go through what I have, kind of price points, and we'll go from there. So this one is probably one of the first ones that I bought myself from a local pen company. Um, I'm going to go with, I absolutely despise this pen. Um, it's a Schaefer, and I like the way that it so it's like I don't know friction so like it's really on there but you don't have to like twist it to get it off you just pull it um, first of all I it's a medium nib I I don't like medium nibs um, probably needs cleaned it has a converter. Uh, there's our specialty converters. So you have to have this. I think it came with it. I think it came with the converter and a cartridge. And I'm actually going to show you a little trick that I do with cartridges. Um, because some converters are just crap. So, my opinion. Um, I don't like this pen. But it was not a bad I think I paid like 65 for it but it was a special edition Japanese I mean I've had this thing for so long I honestly can't remember what it what you can probably still find them it wasn't anything it was a limited edition I know that but it wasn't anything like crazy like some of the pens they have now but it was also, I don't know, I probably have owned this pen for probably 10 years, maybe around 10, 11 years. Um, I did mention that I have some pens for my grandmother. I think those are in storage somewhere. Um, I don't know where they are. I haven't seen them in a while, so... Um, but they were like really, really old uh, calligraphy style fountain pens. Um, this one has a big scratch on it. And I've never even used it. My cats, probably. Um, so I got into, you can see, these are the Twisby Ecos and the Twisby Eco Tees. Is that all of them? Two, three, eight, nine. I think that's all of them. So, this one is very hard to find. I don't know that you actually even can anymore. Um, most of my Twisbees are extra fine. That's just what I prefer. If you buy a Twisby Eco, which is this, and a Twisby Diamond 580, which is this, um, I think this is like a 582 or something like that. It's a 580 and then Roman numeral 2. It's the second version of the rose gold that they made. So um, they came out with this a long time ago and they redid it recently. So 
the extra fines in these two pens are completely different. The extra fine in the Eco is much finer than the extra fine in the uh, their aluminum, their 580s, whatever. This is an aluminum. This is a 580. So the extra fines in these are much different than the extra fine in this. This one's a lot scratchier. I think this is just a better nib overall, but um, not a bad pen. Either way, these are my favorite pens. Um, well, these are my favorite pens. These are my favorite pens for the price point. You can get these for $25, $29 usually, I think. So when I started buying these, I went a little crazy because they didn't have colors. They had the clear, they had the black, they had the white, and they would come out with a special edition occasionally. Now they come out with them all the time and the colors just kind of stick around. But some of these colors you can't get anymore. This one you might find on one of your resale sites. Um, Twisby does not make this pen anymore, this pink. And I don't think I've ever inked this pen up. It's I don't know <laughs> it's so pretty but I wanted this one and this one I think was a I think they did a special edition for this one you can't buy it now but it was available for quite some time so but I bought these two pretty close together um, this one you can't buy these two were actually I think um, like limited editions at the same time and I hunted online and found them like the year after they were released. I think these were released in like 2017 or something. I think I bought them in 2018. But um, I don't think either of these has ever been used. But they do have scratches. I'm thinking my cats must have. <sighs> cats. Anyway. So all of my. I think I have one stub. And I think all the rest of them are extra fine. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I do with these pens. I've seen a lot of people um, fill it the way that I fill it and they mess up these feeds. Now you can see I have several of them. I don't use these a lot, but so this one, yeah, this one I've inked up and used. This one I've used. These two I've used. I can't remember these three because these came out like pretty quick and I really wanted the transparent and now they do transparents all the time too. But I don't know that I ever inked maybe this one, but I don't think I ever inked these two. Um, so anyway, these I know I have. Um, but I tend to keep them clean or cleaned out because... Um, Oh, so this one is this one is my favorite pen absolutely this is hands down my favorite pen if it weren't if it wasn't inked you can see that it has a pink but it, yeah the black ink kind of covers it up it has a pink residue on the inside from where I left uh, Diatriments document fuchsia in here for like two years and it stained the body <laughs> but I don't care I love this pen it's like I said it is definitely my favorite pen I'll tell you a little bit about it it's got a modified nib um, but they will stain so you kind of have to be careful um, I think this one I, I can't remember if it's I think it is stained um, smoky like because of the black ink I tend to just use black ink. I, I will show you my inks and my favorite ink, but I don't really use a lot of, you can see these are all three inked with, they're just, um, well, okay, no, I take that back. This one is inked with Noodler's Gray, which looks like pencil. I love it, but it feathers, so it's kind of, it depends on the paper, but yeah. Um, and then these both have Diatriments uh, Document Black in them. Okay, so, so I see a lot of people that 
fill these with a syringe, which is how I recommend, but I'm not going to tell you to do that because if you're not careful, you can break these feeds, which can basically ruin your pen. I mean, you can still use it, but there is a huge chance of flooding um, because it's just uncontrollable. Whenever you mess up the feed, it can just have adverse effects. So you can um, have it flood where you'll open your pen and it'll be full of ink. It can um, not work. So I've had a couple of people like see Amy draw her and I were talking one day on uh, Instagram and she was talking about hating to stick her pen in which to me is actually unsanitary. You can cause some issues with your ink. I know that's how they recommend it as long as your pen nib is clean then that's fine. But if you touch it and then you stick it in there, you've transferred oils and grime from your hand into your ink, which can cause it to, um, what do they call it? They call it something. It's like, but it turns sludgy. It's, it's disgusting, but, um, it can happen. So if you stick your nibs down in your pen and, you know, fill them like they tell you to, just make sure that your nib and your pen is clean and you haven't sat here and handled it before you stick it down in there. You don't want those oils in your ink. Um, so I take this out, but the way that I do it is I grab the metal piece. It's frictioned in there. If you grab the feed, odds are you're going to damage these little tines on it. So I grab the metal and just kind of twist it and every time no problem and then I just pull this out it is literally like the easiest way to do it and then okay sorry about that um, I've had these little blunt nib um, syringes for a long time from Goulet pens they are amazing they fit perfectly down into this little slot so you can see it's all the way down in there so this is actually how I clean my pens and how I fill them so I have one that I clean with and one that I fill with um, I make sure that I clean them both out after every use because you don't want to contaminate that ink just like I said it causes problems and then you're just going to mess up your pen as well so to clean i fill up said syringe depending on how nasty it is i fill it up with warm water like just lukewarm fill it up stick it all the way in and then push it and it forces all that debris and ink out you're going to have to do it several times if you're changing colors you can use ink flush Pen flush, yeah, pen flush. Um, also sold by Goulet Pens. This is not <laughs> sponsored. I just, I prefer Goulet Pens. I have purchased from other places, but I do like their, um, I do like their customer service for one. They're amazing, but um, they give really good advice. So if you're looking for pen advice, look them up on YouTube. They have pretty much any question you can ever think of, <laughs> they answer on there. So that's how I flush my pens out is I just stick it in full of water, push it, and you just make sure you're over a sink. That's why I'm not doing that here because it blows water out everywhere. You kind of have to be careful. Um, I do it several times. And uh, then I always like soak my nibs and feed just in warm water. Um, and then you let it dry overnight so it can uh, fully dry. Let me tell y'all, I'll tell you a story. So this pen right here, I was obsessed with this pen. I actually do not like these anymore because of the grip. They have like, um, they have a ridge and it just is, it feels weird to me when I hold it. 
so I don't really care for the eco tees. They have like a T shape. I mean, it does help. It's similar to holding this thing where you have to hold it in a certain position to write. But anyway, let me see if I can show you what I did. Um, so I was impatient, got this pen, and I wanted to clean it and use it. So I thought I would dry it myself. And if you can see, it's very warped. Yeah, I melted it with my heat gun. So now I won't use it because I'm worried that it'll leak. It probably won't because it's just like it really didn't damage any of the inside, but it's bad enough that it's crooked. So I don't use this pen. So it's simply here for um, aesthetic purposes. Another pen that you can't buy anymore. So, you know, it is what it is. I could probably um i could probably change out the body but i'm not about taking them all apart i think who's who's got that kind of time okay so i'm going to show you how to put this back together real quick and the best way is to there's a groove it's a little u in your feed slot your nib right in that groove and you can adjust it once you get it back in i again hold it tight on the metal and just lightly grip the feed and I push the metal in and see it's not quite in there yet you can still see so then I take it up here now I don't want to push on the nib itself like on the tip of the nib but I take the sides of the metal and I just kind of push it down in and it's seated perfectly every time like it takes some getting used to and a little bit of finagling but I have never once damaged a feed. I've never once damaged a nib and I have done this to these pens hundreds of times. It's the only way that I fill them. It's the only way that I clean them. This one I did damage with a heat gun. <laughs> the rest of them are in perfect working condition. Um, I love these pens. They're very affordable and very uh, very user-friendly because um, let's see is that my I'm trying to think I have a stub that one's extra fine I think most of them are what is this extra fine that one looks different but you can always swap them out that one is that is not an extra fine what is this one? Oh no, that's my stub. So this one, yeah, I've swapped the stub nib around, so I have a hard time finding it sometimes. But that's my stub. Um, and then all the rest of them are extra fine because that's the only, it's the only nib I like. Um, I bought the stub because I wanted to try it. I think I actually bought the stub on this clear one. Yeah, it has a stub too. So I have two stubs. I didn't know that. Um, that one's extra fine. Extra fine. And extra fine. Okay, so that, but that is literally how I deal with all of these Twisbees. These, hands down, are the best pen you can buy for the money okay for this money for this pen you get a really 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 good fill full tank will last you ages um this pen is it this one that i have the modified no okay this pen let's see what do we want to write on i don't want to write on anything uh I'm just gonna so I, this is just me showing you now I know you don't know how long this pen's been setting here I've literally had this pen inked with this ink in it for probably at least a year at least um, it writes every time I pick it up now this one has a modified nib 
So it says fine, but it's actually um, a grind nib that I ordered that's supposed to be similar to a Japanese. So Japanese extra fine is much finer than a European extra fine. So Japanese extra fine is going to be your, this is the Decimo or the Vanishing Points or anything made by Pilot basically. Um, their extra fine is much finer. It's the Twisby, the Twisby Eco extra fine is still thicker than this, but it is finer than this. But this one I had modified. Now this one sometimes has, nope, it's starting fine. So sometimes it has a little harder time starting if I don't write with it often, but I haven't written with this since. If you go back and look at my, this, whenever I set this up, there's a video for it. That's the last time that I wrote with this pen. So a couple months, probably at least, I guess, a month. I haven't touched it. Okay, I haven't touched this pen in the same amount of time. And this is my extra fine Decimo Pilot. It's just like the Vanishing Point, only the Decimos are thinner, like the body is skinnier than the uh, Vanishing Points. So this one is dried up. Now it will eventually write, but that's the difference. So see, I can get it to eventually It'll get there if I keep using it, but that bothers me. I wanna be able to pick up a pen. I don't care how long it's been inked. I wanna be able to pick up a pen and use it. I don't wanna to have to worry about using it every single day. I do love this pen, but that annoys me so much because I, it can do that in a week. It does it, it works better now. I'm gonna show you how I made it work better. Um, it does work better now. It used to dry up a lot faster than that. Usually in a couple of days it would be dried up and I'm like, oh, come on. But we'll go through the rest of the pins and then we'll get there. Okay, so these three, well, these two and then this one, they're similar. They are different. Um, so these two are Diamond 580s. Um, this one you can't buy anymore. They haven't made it since like 2015, 2014, something like that. Um, this is my absolute favorite pen. I, like I said, I have a specialty nib on it that is a, gr a grind that I ordered from a guy online. If it's something you're interested in, I can put you in contact with him. Um, but he does a lot of like architect grinds. It's getting into things that I don't really deal with. I just wanted something finer than this. So that was just my, <laughs> I just wanted something more like this because I love the way that this pen writes. I hate that it dries up so fast. So, um, so this is my favorite pen. This was purchased by my boyfriend. He bought it for me, um, <laughs> for Mother's Day several years ago. He hunted it down for me. And uh, I wanted this pen so bad because the color green is my favorite color. And again, you can't buy them. So they made a red one and a green one around Christmas time. I want to say 2015, 2016. And we found it the following year. So um, this one is a Diamond 580 as well. This one is a newer. Um, I need to clean it. But it's smoke and rose gold I wanted to get this one so I purchased this one around the time that I found the guy that can do the grinds so I wanted the nib for this one but he didn't have the rose gold in stock so I would have to have sent him my rose gold nib and the thing is he has to be up a size like he can't grind down an extra fine because it's already too fine so it needed to be a fine that he could grind down it was a long story, but anyway, um, so I would have had to have found a fine nib in rose gold, sent it to him, had him modify it. My modification was like $55. 
I think I paid like 160 total, but I had to buy the nib from him and then the modification. So, um, because I didn't want to send him one of my nibs, I just thought it would be easier just to buy the nib from him. Anyway, I love this pen. It's a nice pen. It's again, these pens are just really, they hold up so well. And, um, it, the capacity for ink you won't find it anywhere else so these are my uh, this one um, I don't like this pen <laughs> I just don't and I'll show you why um, the little grip here Let's see if you can see I can't tell if my if it's, but there's little little grooves make that noise and it's very annoying when you're riding with it you can feel it I'm I don't know I'm, I'm such a like a tactile person that stuff like that bothers me so this is a diamond 580 AL so it's aluminum it's all aluminum except for the plastic body or the, the acrylic body and then the nib um, and feed but yeah all of this is aluminum this is aluminum yeah so I mean it's a pretty pen but I don't use it I don't like it I need to clean it out but it's stained so that's why I leave ink in it because but you can I mean it still writes just like I mean this one I probably haven't used it in two years or a year or writes every time I love these pens. They are so great. If you want a pen that is user friendly, that it does not require a lot of maintenance, hands down Twisby. Now these, um, I think these were, well, this one I paid a lot of money for because it was, I had to buy it from somebody. But this one, the aluminum, I think was like 65. And then this one was like a limited edition thing. I think it was like 70 or 75. It also depends on where you buy them from. But um, yeah, so those are kind of the ranges of those. These are all like in the 25 to $29 range. This is also a Twisby. They did this a while back. I don't like this pen either. Um, it's beautiful visually it has the black I don't even know I don't think it's inked um, if it is it's dried up it doesn't have the kind of capacity that these do nor does it hold the ink like these do I don't know if it's the cap or what but this is all um, I think it's an acrylic pen but for whatever reason it doesn't seal like these and my ink just dries up so but I love the black nib oh oh no it does I guess it does have the same capacity maybe I've just not used this one huh because it has the same nib style this is how the nibs are on these pens they just screw off I guess I could have showed that hmm maybe I just haven't used it in a while I don't know I don't remember but I didn't like it it's an extra fine too. I don't know. I don't remember why I didn't like it. I guess I'll have to ink it up and see because it's a beautiful pen. Um, but anyway, so like these, you can take this whole piece off and it just has the hole just like the Eco does. And you can fill it up with a uh, syringe or flush it out with the syringe. And then it just, so it like, you could actually swap these out really easy and swap your nibs. So these pens are just so easy, so easy to care for and so easy to use. And I've never had one leak on me. Knock on wood. All right, Lamy, you'll have people who are diehard Lamy fans and absolutely hate Twisbees. I absolutely hate this. Lamy. In fact, I'm looking at it and the ink dried up in it because I never used it. Um, I bought it because we were at a pen show and it's a stub nib. 1.1 um, stub. I bought it at the Atlanta pen show when we were there because it was yeah, you can see 
my lovely blue. I mean, I could probably buy some pen flush and flush it out, but I don't see the point. I will never use this pen. I do not like how it writes. I don't like anything about the pen, basically. Um, I don't like the grip on this either, and I think that's what it's just because of the this one. I think they have regular maybe they don't maybe they're all made like this i think i had two or three other lamis and i sold them but i kept this one because it was special edition oh yeah these i get so used to the twisbees these just pop on it's a pretty pen i just don't like them i don't like the, the way they write never been a fan i'm gonna save this one for last because there's a reason uh baby shark was a thing they came out with all these pens um i don't even remember if i ever inked this one up but i bought one for like everybody yeah it it dried out you can tell it had ink in it and it dried out um but i don't know it's not i don't know <laughs> it was just a fun pen that i literally bought on a whim and like I said, I bought like everybody in my house one. So uh, I had to have one too. Um, my Caveco Sport. I don't like this one either. Um, again, just personal preference. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even have, um, I have no clue where the cartridge or the converter is for it. Um, to me, I, I think I would like the other, like the, what are they called? Um, they're not the sport the ones that are metal because this one's just so light that's why i don't like it um i don't like the post pens either like for one it makes the pen out of balance for me um i have i mean i have long fingers uh i don't have small hands some of these pens post well some of them don't this one does not it doesn't stay on well I have some that stay on really well and are actually harder to get off. Um, this one stays on really well, but I don't know. I can't post a pen. I've never been able to. And I think that's why I don't care for these because you kind of have to for it to be, I mean, I could write with it comfortably, but it's short. So the weight is my problem with this one. I don't care much for posting, but uh, yeah, every time I see people post a pen, I'm like, oh, how do you do that? <laughs> I don't know, but that, I'm, uh, I'm not trying to say anything about anybody. Everybody holds their pen a different way. Okay, um, my Decimo. Uh, I think this one, it might be my, this, no, I think I paid, did I pay 280 for this one? I don't remember. I think this one was like almost a couple hundred dollars. It was in that vicinity. I bought it when they came out. Um, it's an extra fine. I love the concept. I do absolutely love the fact that you can click a pen, <laughs> click a fountain pen. Is that not the greatest thing? So awesome. My thing with this pen is the converter. I hate, hate the converter for this pen. So I'm gonna show you how I got around that. Um, I don't know what I've got on it or if it's, I'm pretty sure my cats have just attacked all my pens and I don't even, maybe I should keep them in a case. I don't, I keep them sitting on my desk in a pen, in a, uh, in a cup because I don't, I don't know if, if you're worried about them I don't feel like I'd use them like if I was so scared that I was going to hurt one of them I wouldn't use them so I leave them out where I can see them for one and admire them because they're all very beautiful but I just want to if I want to grab one and write with it I want it to be there I don't want to have to dig through a pen case um, I guess the ones that I don't ink up I mean I should probably sell them because at this point why but you know it is what it is okay so this pen yeah I absolutely hate the converter that pilot makes it's too small it literally holds like no ink at all uh, let's see where's my converter this is the converter for it 
so it only holds ink from there like that's like one journaling usage I mean it's really not enough for anything so what I do is I have a cartridge that I just clean out um, and I ink it with whatever ink I want because that's what I want to do um, it needs to be refilled but yeah this is just a pilot cartridge I don't want to pull it out because I'm not sure what is going to happen if I do um, so same same situation I use I don't even know I didn't use this I flushed this it had blue ink in it that's right so I flushed the ink out of it let it dry and then I filled it up with my ink um, and then I just put it in and it holds a whole lot more than the cartridge like it goes down to about here and you have all that ink versus what the little bit that you can get in the uh, converter so that's how I choose to use this pen my you know it's my prerogative you can use it however you want but I like that I don't have to fill it up as much now also with these pens um, the ink will evaporate I'm not sure if it's just because it's open but like I've never had that problem with any of my Twisbees but like this pen I didn't use there's no way that I used that much ink I barely use this pen because it annoys me sometimes I love it it's beautiful but it does annoy me so same same situation I just flushed it out with my syringe and then I just filled it with my favorite ink well not really my favorite ink but my only really archival ink because I don't want my ink to disappear so I that's why I mainly use the black or the noodlers gray because they're um, archival ink we'll get to my ink in just a minute okay so last pen now I'm gonna tell you about this pen right here this pen is a really 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 good pen um, but I modified it a little bit so this is a Jen Hao. I bought it on Amazon for six dollars um, it's sparkly it's so pretty I do really like this pen I don't use it I haven't used it in a long time but the way that I modified it is Goulet pens makes nibs and I think this is a six you can look it up they'll tell you what to replace it with but um, I feel like this one had the weird converter as well no this one has a good this is a good converter it holds quite a bit um, so yeah you can get a good fill in there I use this pen for a long time um, when I first started getting into fountain pens and then I changed the nib and this nib is a game changer so the original Jen Hao nib that's on it is not a great nib it's not horrible but it's not great either but this nib makes a huge difference in this pen um, it writes so nice I wish I had some of my ink samples because I, I just got rid of them all whenever we moved I didn't have the storage so um, because I would test it for you but I'm not dipping this nib because I don't know where it's been or when it's been cleaned I'm not gonna dip it in my ink um, but it has like the pop cap it's a really good pen so if you are just getting started um, pen was six bucks nib I want to say was like six or nine it wasn't that much now this was years ago I haven't checked I will link Goulet pens down below um, again they are my favorite pen company to buy from just because I really really enjoy their customer service they're really good people um, and they're a very small owned company in Virginia so I don't know I feel you know they're they're just a small company I I like supporting them not that the other ones aren't either I buy from Anderson pens I buy from 
a lot of different pen companies, but I do, if I can buy from Goulet, I do buy from them. They have a lot of good sample kits that you can buy, like different inks. But anyway, yeah, so, you know, less than, less than $20, you can have this pen and it writes phenomenal. Now, another pen that you can buy that's roughly around the same price is a Pilot Metropolitan. And it's gonna have the thinner, so even if you buy a fine, it, the, their fine is more like the extra fine in Twisby. So that's just gonna kind of be when you figure out what you want, what type of pen you like. Um, but a Metropolitan is a really, really good way to go. Sometimes you can pick them up in like Staples and Office Max. They used to carry them pretty regularly, but um, definitely you can get them on Amazon. And I wanna say like 15 to $20, they are a really, really good way to start out if you want to try your own inks. If not, you can buy, are they the Preppies? I think they're called the Preppies. They're pre-filled ink pens. I used to have one. I don't have it anymore. Um, but you can get them usually at, in bigger cities, you can get them at stationery stores. Uh, you can order them on Amazon. Again, they're good, good pens for starting out, for trying to, to see if you even like what fountain pens are. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my inks real quick. I do not, I've gotten rid of, I got rid of a lot of inks. I had a whole bunch. Now I think I have like three, four, yeah. So my detachments, um, black document ink. This is my most used ink. I use it all the time when I use ink. Um, It's my favorite. I wish I hadn't got rid of some of them because I had some really nice inks that, but I mean like these last me forever. So this Noodler's ink, this is Lexington Gray Noodler's. Um, it's UV proof, waterproof. Is it waterproof? No, it's water-based, it's bulletproof. Um, but it washes off of like plastic and things like that. Uh, I really, really like this ink. This is the one that I said it looks like, um, it looks like a pencil. Like that's just, I need to swatch these. I don't have anything that I haven't like touched. I'm really particular about sticking. I don't know, I've read a lot of things on like sludging up your ink and um, and it will mess up your pen so I don't risk like putting just anything in I put these in but I wash them first I wash them when I'm done um, really careful so my favorite ink of all time is oxblood I mean if you know you know uh, it definitely is the most blood like ink that sounds horrible but it is um, very black red but I hate that it's not um, it's not waterproof or bulletproof or document so I don't use it a lot um, it's diamond blah, can't talk diamine diamine however you pronounce it um, but I do love, I love the bottle on this one. Uh, it's very, I don't know, very, um, I really need to, I want to swatch them for you. I guess I could, I don't want to stick a Q-tip down. <laughs> I'm so picky about my inks. And then this one, I love this one. It's a sailor ink. I didn't even think I was going to like this ink. And I absolutely love it, but I don't use it very much. Uh, we're not even going to try. It's uh, Shikori, I guess, something like that. It's a very...
purpley. It's not per it's like a I don't know, maybe a gray purple. Like I'm not sure how good that color is coming through, but it is a purple, but it's not like purple purple. But I absolutely love let's see if you can see. I love this ink. And um, yeah, Sailor makes some, they make some amazing inks. So maybe I will swatch this after and um, I'll go clean one of these pens and, uh, and do a swatch and I'll pop it up in at the end of the video so you can see what these look like. But uh, this one, I really do like this color. So that's the, those are the only inks I have right now. Um, I had, I had the fuchsia in this and I think I had a couple of greens. Uh, I used to get a subscription box from, uh, oh, I can't even remember the name of the company. They had a subscription box. They made their own inks. And I get it, but I had, I had so many, I had like 90 something samples and then I had about 30 bottles. So I donated a lot of them. Some of them I threw out because they were old, but yeah. So these are the only inks that I have right now and I probably won't buy any more um, because I just don't use these pens. Why don't I use them? Because I don't have good paper. So now I've remedied that with my, um, with the Freely Noted. Uh, it has some really good paper. So yeah, I'll probably, I have my other one. I'll probably do some swatches. So you can see what these inks look like. Uh, swatched out. Um, but I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's anything I didn't go over or mainly it was just like showing you guys how I use these pens uh, with filling and cleaning and to each their own. I mean I would not ever tell anybody that they should pull this out and fill their ink or fill their pen like I do if they weren't comfortable with it because I don't want you to damage your pens that's like I have seen a few that have messed up nib or have messed up beads and it just makes me so sad because because I don't know it could be avoided you just have to be really, really careful when you change these. My pens are, they all need cleaned. Um, but yeah, like I said in the beginning, if you're still here, you just, I always just grab this silver piece because then you don't risk. And I just kind of twist it. You just twist it toward me and it comes out. No problem. Putting it back in, I just push on that metal piece. I don't know. I mean, like, I think I see a lot of people that just grab it here with their fingers on the feed and then they push it back in at the feed. You really don't have to. This piece sets so nicely right in this little groove that it will push that down into the, uh, the spot. Like, it's really, <sighs> I just, I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm no professional by any means, but it hurts my heart when I see people who've damaged their pens. I mean, they spend a lot of money. on It's not that I'm whatever. I feel bad that they've damaged their pens because they've spent their hard earned money on these pens and then they've possibly ruined them. I mean, you can replace those pieces. And let me tell you, Twisby, if you ever lose or damage part of your Twisby pen, you can call them. And if they can replace it, 
they will. They might ask you to pay shipping, which is usually like six bucks. Um, maybe not now. This was years ago. Um, shipping might be more now because they're in, uh, where are they? They're in the UK somewhere. Um, across the pond. <laughs> but uh, Germany, maybe? I don't know. Taiwan is where they're made. Um, so, yeah. So, if you ever, like, damage this piece, now they might make you pay for the piece, but you can get a new one. But... Um, I can't remember. Who I, but they had lost their cap, but it was a friend. Um, they had lost their cap to one of their, one of these and, um, Twisby sent them a new one. Just like sent them a new one. It was nothing. They sent the, they paid the shipping and Twisby sent them a new cap. So, call them. They are amazing with their customer service. Uh, some of the other ones I can't really speak for. I've never dealt with customer service from Pilot. Uh, and never have I dealt with customer service from uh, Lamy either. So, I don't know how they are. But, I definitely <laughs> recommend Twisby to anybody. Especially newcomers. new People who are new. To fountain pens um, I definitely recommend Twisby it's just an easy to use pen they are more budget friendly than some of the other brands I mean Sailor they have beautiful pens they write like a dream but I just didn't care too much for it I mean I don't I think with that one I was more worried about if I would hurt it, if I would damage it. And these, I don't care so much. I mean, because they're not $300. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, still this one was two. And I'm pretty sure my cats bit it. But uh, I'm not as worried about it, but it's also meant to be, like it's meant to go in your pocket. It, that's what it was, it's metal. You don't have to worry about like damaging it as much these like if you over twist you can split I've seen people split uh, the lids and split pieces on them and like I said you can always call Twisby they might charge you a little bit but they'll send you a replacement piece they're really good um, but yeah you do have to be careful when twisting some of these closed because if you over twist you can split that acrylic but yeah you just have to be careful not to over twist them anyway I've rambled long enough if you have any questions uh, I am particular about my brands I'm not knocking any other brands um, to each their own whoever likes whatever if you love Lamy's more power to you I want you to love what you want I'm just giving options for people who are new or who are looking to maybe get into it and try it I just feel like these pens are more user-friendly even if you fill them with the normal way where you screw this little thing down and stick your pen in the jar and then you pull it up if that's how you want to ink your pen I still think these are the best pens because they hold a whole lot more ink than this thing ever will and they don't dry out like this was never used and you can tell that it's completely all the ink is gone in it I don't even know if I can take that out it's probably dried in there but, uh, yeah, you can see where the ink is. <laughs> I've never used this pen, like, I don't know, a handful of times maybe, five, ten times that I used it, tried it, didn't like it. So, it dried up in there. But this pen, this pen, and this pen have all been inked with this ink for 
over I'm going to I'm going to be gracious and say over 6 months. They've been inked a lot longer than that, but I can't remember one of them I did clean out cuz it had noodler's gray in it and I wanted to put black in it. I think it was this one. Um so then these two have been inked for over a year, maybe closer to 2 years. One of them has been inked at least two years. I don't remember which one it was. But this one I feel like I did have Noodler's Gray in it. And I wanted black in it because of the thinner nib. And I wanted to use it in my book journal. So, so I mean like the ink doesn't dry out in these. And it doesn't evaporate. And it doesn't whatever dry up. That's why I love these pens. So I've never found another pen that does that. And I've tried a lot of different pens. But yeah, um, sailors are probably the best writing experience. They really, that nib is really nice. But I want to say that I am just as happy with my modified Twisby that costs a third of what that one did. Um, so, you know, I... I like this pen better but that's just me you buy you like I see some beautiful pens out there and it's hard not to buy them but uh, yeah the 580s are by far I they're nice nice pens so if you want an, a good pen a workhorse that you don't have to worry about the egos are great the ego tees just have that little whatever the little grip and it's just minimal, but you can feel it. So you might have to adjust your nib in those instances. Like this one would need to be adjusted because it's like pointing the wrong way. Anyway. Okay. So yeah, that's the difference in the Eco T versus these that are, so you can see the difference in the top. These are triangle. The Eco T's have that triangle shape. So, so yeah, um, my take on pens, I'm not trying to <laughs> offend anybody. I hope I didn't. I'm sorry if I did. I, that was not my intention. Just here to give some information. So, uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and it would mean the absolute world to me if you would consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.